asking. And as of all of you know, that uh, most government officials, they are totally dependent on what they call as their staffs, tenno, and uh, that sort of a mechanism. To get rid of that, I think uh, it is getting out of a bondage, which is unimaginable. There was a Supreme Court judgment where the honorable judges said that the Indian governmental system is run by clerks. So this is how I, I, I thought that it was uh, one final chance to get out of the whole thing. And I was working in uh, CID and I used to uh, keep playing around with my laptop and uh, having a bit of an interest in photography. So uh, my DG, he thought that I was immensely interested in computers and he posted me as the IG of the police computer wing. To cut the long story short, having landed there, I had to perform. Because you guys talk about performance and you find, uh, what do you say, big things in the government uh, armor with regards to performance. So I had to perform. I had uh, three options. The first option was I should go into my predecessor's mode where I get a couple of files, I sign them, I get back. Life goes on very smooth and comfortable. Correct. The second option was to make some tinkering somewhere. And the third option was to really take it head on. I opted for the third, though it was extremely difficult. For your uh, information, I am a postgraduate in history. The whole mechanism which was in place from the ICT infrastructure side, sure, Eric. Just come. Come, just come. Yes, yes. You want to just pick, take it on the USB? And yes. Put it. Yeah. Please, right here. So I decided to take it head on. There's no denying the fact that the level of computerization in police then was uh, every single computer and every single server being infected by viruses. So that is, that is where we stood. And we had a, a, a ERP solution, which was under creation for around uh, six years. And I think the only thing which was uh, left to happen, as far as, that project is, uh, pro as, as far as that project is concerned, was a decent burial. I was told by the software development agency that everything is ready and we can deploy. There is no data center in place. There is no, connecti no connectivity in place. We had hardly anybody who could run the whole system. Wait, wait, wait. Give him the this thing now. Some you, you put it on there. Some it's not. It's not taking it. Please, please put it on this. You put this. So this presentation, the topic of this presentation is police IT. Police IT is an ERP solution for the Karnataka State Police. Now, as you all know that uh, we have uh, very few products which is created even by the IT industry and a uh, government department creating an ERP. So that is, that is the, uh, a great uh, commendable work which has been done. The Karnataka State Police, Police IT ERP 
it comprises of 12 modules of the 12 modules 12 uh, three modules so they pertain to the core task of the police that is crime law and order and traffic there are other three modules which are basically the administrative support which we call as the administration finance and the stores module a part of the stores module you have the e procurement we have modules pertaining to the armed reserve so you have the crpf battalion so that you will be very you will be able to F5, stop, stop. F5, stop here. Yeah. Hmm? Well, just, just leave. I think this is fine. I've already started with the introduction. So the presentation structure is as follows. We have the introduction, police IT, screens and reports, connectivity, capacity building. And uh, the police IT changing from a software to a software system to an e-business suit, which means we will be integrating the legacy systems and the conclusion thereof. As you people are all aware as to what an ERP is, we were creating this software for around six years. But the people who were at the helm of FS, they were not aware of the fact that we are creating an ERP. Of late, we realized we are doing something which, is some, which, which generally does not happen in any of the government departments and even in the private sector. So whatever ERPs are there in place, either you pick up it as a product and with a bit of a customization here and there. So our, inter, uh, our enterprise resource planning software, as I told you, comprises of 12 modules. I'll not get into the details of what an ERP is and uh, what does it include, what the characteristics are. The police leadership, so they had the vision to think of an ERP way back in the year 2004 and started creating one. And uh, had it been created in the duration it which was supposed to, which is around 18 months, I think we would have been in a totally different mode today and we would be at par with best of the police forces in the, country, uh, in the world. So police IT is a comprehensive ERP system which provides seamless integration to every single functioning of the police department. It al is already in the stage of successful rollout. The stage in which we are in with regards to every single module I would be explaining in this presentation. What is commendable is that we have created a whole infrastructure which would take the deployment of police IT software. Software was being created, but unfortunately, the wherewithal on which the software would be deployed, so that was not available. As I told you, there are 12 modules, 64 roles. So the whole of the police force, to whatever work they are assigned with, will fall in this 64 roles. So in all, there are 64 roles. There are 522 screens and 417 reports, divided into core functions of crime, law and order and traffic, administration, finance, and stores. That's on the administration side. Armed reserve, motor transport, and training. So they provide the ancillary support. Technical modules are wireless and the FSL. And over these 11 modules is overlaid the management information system, which provides you the real inputs for decision making. This is the breakup of the screens and reports which are available on the police IT software. And this is the status. So in the last one and a half years, or slightly less than one and a half years, we have started from four modules deployed on 6th of April, which is functional in the entire state. 
and we have another uh, four modules which are working in 20 districts and four commissionerates and we have finance finance stores and training which are on pilot in all districts and all the concerned training centers so we are in the final stages of de of deployment of this erp i can give you a slightly parallel situation you have this crime and uh, criminal tracking network and systems project of government of india wherein they intend to make a core application software so that would be the software which would throw up the national database in addition to that software you have a state component of the core application software the the pace at which we are going i think it will take another 2 to 3 years from now where there is the stage where we are already in so this gives you a reference reference point as to where where we are where karnataka state police is we have a connectivity which sustains this uh, deployment and sustains the functioning of this whole software that is a connectivity which is a combination of mpls and vpn over broadband we have 30, 39 locations connected on two two mbps mpls and 1400 vpn over broadband connection that with a internet lease line being integrated into one single network and we have our own uh, data center the state police data center so we all our application so it it uh, is controlled it is uh, uh, run by our state police data center karnataka today is the first state to be on fully broadband network and but for three police stations i think one is the uh, konchavaram and gulbarga but for that the two other police stations in raichur but for three police station out of 906 every single location is on the broadband network we are trying to our level best to go and get all those uh, three police stations also on our broadband network how difficult it would be to bring uh, this sort of a system and this sort of organization to be on a on a complete seamless network and maintain it uh, i think all of you can imagine so this is uh, broadly what we have we have the state police data center with 39 locations on 2 mbps 1400 locations of 512 kbps 10 mbps we have the aggregation bandwidth at the state police data center and 4 mbps internet internet lease line is not taking the this thing ha huh? okay the availability of technical personnel i think that is most critical to running a infrastructure of this nature and having this in mind we went ahead with uh, different types of training starting with police it awareness to application training our application training we have trained around 12000 police personnel across karnataka in 12 of our modules and our our uh, the main objective is to take criminal investigation on a totally digital mode criminal investigation as you would all appreciate it entails huge amount of documentation it is not just one screen or two screens wherein you feed data whether it is single word or some numerical value instead in its place you have used documentation to compare that to analyze that and to put it in a mode where what you call as a charge sheet and which is fit enough for the scrutiny for the judicial scrutiny is a big challenge which we are facing we have been 